YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage coming to you. This is actually coming off the laptop of Carthage. There's this weird glitch that I can't fix, which is um, my High Elves campaign that I played for fun, and now this one. When I get to the final battle, or one of the final battles, it just hard crashes my computer. I've tested the RAM, the graphics card, all my drivers are up to date. I verified the cache of Warhammer, I deleted Warhammer 2, reinstalled it on a different hard drive. Nothing fixes it. And there's no post online, so I have no idea how to fix it. Warhammer 2 otherwise runs flawlessly, and the videos you see from me every day on it, are re um, they're recorded on my desktop. Works fine all the time, unless you get to the end of this. And it doesn't happen on any other games or software. I can render videos, I can play other games. I have no idea. So anyway, you've missed some. And the reason you've missed some is because uh, because of that crash, and then I fired up my um, laptop here so that we could continue. So, you won't be able to get 2K resolution, but I'm assuming a lot of you probably aren't watching in that anyway. So a few things have happened. We've captured a few more settlements. I'm probably like five or six turns from where we started last time. We've really just captured some of these settlements up the coast, and now it's time for us to prevent Nagarond from taking control of the Vortex. So we're going to get techless. I'm actually trying to play this for the Why first the time cards? on surround sound, too. The Logitech G533 wireless headset that Intel and CA gave me. I'm not sure I like surround sound on Warhammer. I love it in, like, Player Unknown Battleground or something like that. It's a shooter game, but I can't... I'm not sure if I like it on Warhammer yet. I'm going to try it, though, see if I can get used to it. Let's teleport, and let's see... And it was, it was right here where my desktop hard crashes every time. And you can see it works just fine on the laptop. <laughs> Steady hand is needed. Something's clearly askew between the game and either a driver or a piece of hardware that I have. And like I said, I have no idea why. No idea why. And I don't know if it, it's because these are from like the first patch and something's weird. Like I said, I have no clue. I will try and get a message to Creative Assembly after the holidays and we'll see if we can fix it. Otherwise, enjoy the cutscene here. Hold on just a second, I gotta check my sound. It didn't actually show a cutscene. I think my sound is good. Yeah, I wanted to kind of see how it sounds in battle with the surround sound. It might, might be cooler that way. Me in range, and I should be able to outshoot them with my artillery. Let me see what I can do here. There we go. Fortunately for me, I have a beast of a laptop and it runs this game just as well as my desktop. Bolt throwers of open fire. Let's close that down over there so y'all can see a little bit better. I'm going to try and hit this black dragon with a couple of breath attacks. I 
wasn't real effective. Let's just pull on back. Okay, we are successfully... Let's go in slow-mo real quick so I can find my target. Here's the other Reaper Bolt Thrower. Hit that. Group 3. Let's get into a defensive position. And group four move up. Dragon Prince is to fly. Holy Marathi! That freaking wench dropped a pit of shades right on my Phoenix Guard. Let's just net everything over here. I think Malekith used his special ability there. Um, let's. I'm gonna counter charge these Coldwind Dread Knights. Give me just a second. I'll try and get you all some close ups too, but I gotta make sure I'm managing the battle at least somewhat decent here. Let's pull these guys back. We're about to get hit by a breath attack here, so let's try and dodge a little. And then start working on shades with great swords. Flank the cab out. Alright, here we go. Holy cow, what is happening to my dragon? It's getting absolutely destroyed, and he won't disengage. Soul Blight? Yeah, one of my dragons is wrecked. Let's see if we can save it. Will it cause some havoc out there? Alright, we are wreaking some pretty serious havoc here. See, we've put a fair number of these guys on the run. Woo, that breath attack. So we got a pretty epic battle. Okay, Malekith is about to go down. Teclis is about to get pounced on. See, we just gotta buff up my units long enough to hold. Come on, get down here. Get that war hydra. Teclas got routed. He got out though. Really? Malekith is back? Come on, hit him. Let's bring the Dragon Princes. Actually, get over here. Can we take Malekith out? Get down here on this guy. Alright, we got reinforcements coming in. Just Skaven slaves. Marathi just dive bombed us. Take Marathi out of the fight. Let's see what we can do here. Get some dragon princes to work.
bring some dragons over here too. We got our dragon princes. Pretty epic battle. Let's heal Teclas. Okay, we've gotten out on here on all these shades. They're not dying nearly as quickly as it feels like they should. I mean, they are cutting down a Dragon Prince unit. Pretty much headlong. The battle should be souring against... Let's get a hold of this Sorceress. Stinking War Hydra over here. Let's. I need to try a regrowth on this dragon. Let's hope it lives long enough. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, heal it. Woo! It's gonna be close. Alright, Teclas took out that other Dark Elf leader. Kind of hard to freaking control everything at once here. The enemy are driven off, my lord. Woo! That was quite the epic conflict, actually. Look how freaking awesome that looks in the background. Looks real good. Wow. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Malekith and Marathi and their black dragons were absurd. Like, my star dragons had a really hard time with them. Marathi dropping that stinking pit of shades bomb all over my phoenix guard early. That didn't help. Boy, if we would have had anything less than an elite army, we would have gotten absolutely crapped on there. Victory was assured. Did lose a Dragon Prince and two Phoenix Guards. Restrain the captives. Shackle them. Let's take a little bit of money off of them. I turned my mods on, by the way, and got rid of the extra, like the stupid extra upkeep penalty. Um, so it's just like normal upkeep penalties, nothing beyond that. So we stop Nagaron. High Law Master of Hoeth. Your Phoenix Guard back. How long is it going to take to get a Dragon Prince? Six freaking turns. That's irritating. The Dragon Princes aren't all that great. I do kind of like having them, though. Okay. I gotta keep this army near Teclas to keep him safe while he's recruiting troops. Um, this other army back here. He's bringing on more Phoenix Guard. Global recruitment pool is full. Since we have the money, I mean, we really ought to just get a lot of Phoenix Guard for a mainline. Because the Phoenix Guards serve as pretty good against. I got the mix of Phoenix units there. <clears throat> we still got quite a few units left. I'm sitting here thinking about what I want to do. I can't recruit all the units I want here. I may move over to a different um, province to recruit the remainder. Let's get the Phoenix Guard first. Let's destroy the Awakening. Rejoice! All right, awakening is ours. Order must be maintained. I think we need all that stuff. Let's perform this right so we can get a little bit of extra public order. So we got plenty of rebellions that are cropping up all over the place. 
You must restore order. Let's see here. That building. There we go. Your work. All right, we're gonna keep Josie moving through the Pox Marsh. She's on a Star Dragon now, and should be considerably more powerful now. Saying these guys can still move. Got it. I don't need them to move. Gonna have a rebellion here. Boy, public order is just trash almost all over the place. We can get rid of this growth building because we no longer need it. We'll put a public order building down there. Alright, let's let Lothern kick off the end turn here. So, I need to start my own ritual, but I'm going to need at least a couple of armies more in order to hold back all of the extra forces that are going to assault us as soon as we kick it off. And we kind of need to get rid of Krotgar's forces here and the rest of the Dark Elves on Lustria so this Josie's army would be free. Alright, let's see what happens here. Yeah, we should have a very solid garrison there, so we'll be all right. This place, garrison's not great, but it's it'll do. What would you have of me? I'm gonna move up on the Pox Marsh. Princess like I said, we're just gonna keep pushing. No stops. The Asser are troubled. Put that for now. Let's hit these other buildings. I think I was gonna put in, yeah, some for public order. Public order. Same thing. Teclis is recovering. One of the Dark Elf armies no. broke off here and got itself close to the settlement where it might be able to single it out. Yeah, they're gonna run off. We can just auto-resolve this one. Take the extra XP. Your command. We can get back in the settlement so that we get the settlement garrison to help us in case we get attacked. Well We've done just about everything we can to buff up our spearmen. There's really nothing left <clears throat> to help them out. Elven Scholar. Uh, lightning Strike could still be helpful. Okay. Teclis is alone now, but he's recovered strength on a lot of his units. No. There's a lot of Dark Elves around, Do though. Not. He's still somewhat at risk being on his own. And we're kind of slowly building up forces here. Just about to get all of our Phoenix Guard. Let's go ahead and do some recruiting here. I don't have much influence to recruit a good lord. But... We've always done a princess every time. Let's get a what prince. Or princess, my bad. <laughs> time is of the essence. Whatever you want to identify as princess, I couldn't tell what was going on there with the helmet, so my bad. Let's see, guard. Because we're always going to have Lothern Sea Guard. We're going to want some bolt throwers.
Put a couple of Phoenix Guard in this army too. We'll swap provinces. So we'll have a couple of extra armies built up. We're going to need a hero in each of these armies as well. And again, I don't have the influence to hire the really awesome heroes. Really? I gotta pick one of these guys? Just complete suck factories? Let's do a high mage. You summoned me. The Ephraim answers to me. Ladriel, grant me your sight. Okay, got that done. What can we recruit here, hero-wise? Could get a lore master. Yeah, that's just frustrating. Get a level 14 mage, though. Whatever. There we go. <clears throat> you have use of my power. The winds hearken to me. Alright, so we'll have a couple more armies. Like I said, they'll be capable of helping us through this vortex ritual. Yeah, I got it. I'm about to have multiple rebellions to deal with, but I've done the uh, right, which give us a little extra public order, and then I've built more public order buildings so that hopefully we're not facing as much of this going forward. Forgot we should have a ton of armors and magic items and stuff too. We should try and take advantage of that from all that treasure hunting. Okay, Teclis has still got quite a few turns. These guys aren't in reinforcement range. Let's see if they'll fight me. They will. Let's see if I can win. They have a huge infantry advantage, but we should be able to burn black... Well, wow, those Black Heart Corsairs have a crap load of armor. Since when? Must be upgrades. Well, we could at least try and burn down their Dark Shards. We can use the uh, Frostheart Phoenix to debuff the Black Guard. Let's see what we can do. Good auto-resolve it, but let's fight. Want Vanya to get a good fight here. Teclas got in a good fight in front of the Vortex. They definitely have a ranged advantage, but they're out in the open. We get to move through the forest momentarily. Actually, I think I'm going to move my Lothern Sea Guard up front. Actually, move all these guys in a group to start with. Hold on just a second. 
Just change the colors on my screen whenever I do that. Okay, fixed it. Princess of Alcuin, at your command. All right, here we go. Let's push. Where are they? Did they really? I think they're forest camping up here. Really? That's what it looks like. I mean, because that's like the only part of the map I can't see. Ha! <laughs> the AI is gonna like forest corner camp me. Oh well, I've done it to them a number of times. I guess I deserve it. Yep, there they are. There's so many dark shards up here though. That was actually a pretty smart deployment, as much as I hate it. And I know they didn't do it because they were smart. It ends up being very beneficial for them to have deployed up there like that. Sorry to group these guys. Okay, group three. Get position, take advantage of our range. Let's go see if we can do some damage. Let's use our sea guard. Actually, kill these dread knights. Yeah, there's still a lot of troops back here. Group one, go ahead and fall back behind the spear line. Let's just ignore... Actually, we're keeping a whole lot of units busy back here. This could actually be worth it. Do a quick charge over here. Okay, let's... Just kind of group up a little here. Got some lightly, more lightly armored units up here. Plus, we're gonna overcast that. We're kind of just out of range of the uh, dark shards. This is gonna be problematic for us, actually. Uh, right there, get those dark shards. What's going on up here? Good job, Princess Frostheart. I need you out of that fight, though. Come on, get out of the fight. Freak, I think we're captured by cavalry here. I need to at least get the Princess out of there. Okay, killed some more Dark Shards. Let's get a few of you. See if you can work these Dark Shards. Let's go ahead and fall over here. Swordmasters. Let's just build up our magic and try and get another one of the overcast Phoenix spells. Okay, get up in the air and let's drop some fire on this party. Like right here should be good. Come on, wizard. Can't tell you how badly I need you to hurry. Get in there. Okay, dragon. Dragon breath this pile right here. Please do good damage. No, I really want you to do it like now. Now. Like, what are you doing? Freaking crap. Dragon went like full dunce on me. Frost heart phoenix. I really wanted it over here. Okay, this is going to be our only chance of killing... Dark Elf Infantry, and it's going to harm a few of our own. 
Let's see if we can move out of the way. Need maximum. Oh yeah, that was good damage. That was good damage. That was good, good damage. Let's see our sword masters. Let's come back here and see if we can save. We're about to get another breath spell. Get in the air. Come on, please give him a good hit. That was pretty good. Get down there. Okay, our Lothar and Seaguard are starting to take control. Everybody get on their Lord. Let's take our uh, mage over here. We've got so much sea guard left. Should be good. Frostheart Phoenix did great tanking out that blob. Of course, it would have been debuffing all their units. Uh, Dreadlord getting chased out in there. Let's get our high mage and have some fun here. You will get down here too. Run down some of these repeater crossbows. Good thing is, if I was only losing spearmen in this army, then it's just spearmen and they'll be pretty easily retrained. Driving that chariot through the woods may not be the easiest thing to do. Come on, get up here. Saw some of these guys in half. Do some Ben Hur style. Well, today's the day when it sucks to be a dark elf artilleryman. All right, I think we're good. Can I not? Okay, there it popped up. I was like, can I not end the battle? Yeah, our sea guard dominated, and then really our high mage melted away their infantry. So, fiery convocation for the win. Because otherwise we wouldn't have. Because Vanya's army is really just, it's a holding force. And they're a good holding force. They can hold the line quite well. A triumph for all four. Wow, we didn't lose any units. That is pretty spectacular. We don't need prisoners. Yeah, let's take the unit experience and then let's hope that we can get Vanya far enough away from that other army. We march on. Good, we can get all the way back Protect to the monolith. Which will keep us somewhat safe because we get a ton of sea guard as a garrison. Master of the White Tower. And that's gonna put a hurt on Nagarond around here, so that is good news indeed. To war. Our defenses will hold. What are we up against? So I'd have to stop three Croxagores and a couple of Cold One Riders. I got Silver Helms. Cold One Riders, if I remember, yeah, they're anti armor. Not sure if Silver Helms can take them or not, but we're gonna try. Oh, we got a Star Dragon. Yeah, we should be able to handle this. I will leave the Astro. Should be able to handle this. What we'll do My power is yours. is we'll uh, take all these skirmishers. There we go. Those guys in group one. Group two. Stay back a little though, because the lizard men tend to punch through lines a little too easy for my liking. Uh, let's gamble some wins. Silver Helms. Silver Helm is back there. We got a lot of wins in magic. Not gonna do us a ton of good, but we can spam heal stuff. 
Okay. Yeah, you can turn around too if you want, dragon. I think I'm gonna try and breath attack some of this cavalry. Come on, hit him. Hit him good. Got a little bit of damage down there. Let's put a quick charge on him. Just to distract him. This will pin these guys down. Hopefully get them shot up by my archers too. And then we can escape. So let me hit both silver helms out here. Okay, we took out their cavalry, so let's fall back with the dragon, get another breath attack ready. And then you guys, we need to focus down key targets. Boy, probably gonna have to focus here. Do focus there. Focus there. Okay. Trying to get rid of the chameleon skinks. Okay, you should have been in the air. A little bit frustrated with that. Get out, please. Now that cavalry's back, it's gonna make it harder. Really, dragon? What's keeping you there? In the air, please. Okay, drop back down and kill, or actually get lined up for a breath attack. Line up, line up. Right here. Yes! That was gruesome. Let's bring the mage over here. Okay, we held this flank. Let's get both Silver Helm units though and fall off of this fight. Archers, kill the Pterodon Riders real quick. Okay, Dragon, about to get another breath attack, so let's get you in the air. Group two, take out these Croc scores. Let's get our Dragon, nice flank attack right here. Move around for a rear charge. Oh, that breath attack was good. It was real good. Let's drop down here. Finish these guys. Watch my silver helms destroy these cold ones. Silver helms are really beautiful looking units. They're kind of flimsy to be honest. Maybe if you get them good upgrades in campaign they'd be okay. Okay, get on their lord. Take him down. Spam me on that. Channeling Spire. Come on, take those guys down. Two. Put some damage on these guys. Let's line up for a brutal rear charge. Actually, it won't be much of a rear charge because this infantry just beat its target. Oh, what's going on with the camera? Run down the lizard scum. Yes. Run them down. Execute them. That channeling spire. That looks pretty cool. Well, our dragon did some work in that battle. We had some good breath attacks. That side angle like that. Yeah, 102 kills. Dragon was all kinds of clutch there.
The greater good has triumphed. We have no master. Just take the money off of them since that's a garrison army. All right. I believe that's probably all the time I have for now. So I think we've had a successful successful episode. Teclas is just a few turns away from having his army back to normal. Their skill is well known. Skill is well known. Lord of Hoeth. Steel technology wound. Block army. Block army maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I think we're in a good spot. We've got training. Yeah, nearly complete there. A couple turns here. Yeah, so we're training new training new armies. Josie is ready to take the Pox Pox March. Occupy the Pox Marsh. The people are resting. And that's going to be it for this episode, folks. Need to get immortality up here, too. Missile resistance. I will see you all on the next episode, just as soon as I set up the next... Champions. Weapon strength for Phoenix and Dragon units. That could be cool. All right. See you next time.